Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my vlog on the Wendy plan. So I'm going to be giving the Wendy plan a 100% shot this next week to see if it jump starts my weight loss, gives me better results on the scale. If you're not familiar with what the Wendy plan is, I'm going to link it down in the description box, the calculator. And basically what it does is it jumbles up your points throughout the week, both your dailies and your weeklies, gives you a target that changes daily. And that is the number of points that you are to be eating each day. So I wanted to share my week with you guys. I'm going to show you what I eat, kind of give you my thoughts and feelings on the Wendy plan. So if you want to see this test in action, all you have to do is keep watching. So here's what I'm having for breakfast this morning. This is my meal prep. This is that breakfast casserole. It is so incredibly good. It is only five smart points for this huge serving of the casserole. This was in my meal prep video about a week ago. So I'll try to insert a picture here of the actual meal prep so you can find it easy, but it is super, super good. I'll actually be eating that meal prep throughout the entire day today. So that is part of my breakfast. And then I have a little baggie here of strawberries and blueberries. So that is five smart points. And then over here I have the teamy boost. I love this tea. It is my very favorite. This is a vanilla matcha tea. It is so good. It has a little bit of peppermint, a little bit of sweetness from the matcha. So that is here in my tumbler. I'm going to let that steep a little bit. Zero points for that. So my breakfast is five smart points total. If you're interested in picking up the Teamy Boost, I almost forgot to mention that, I do have some discount codes. They're down in the description box or any Teamy products in general, but I do really like the Teamy Boost. And as you know, I'm obsessed with the oils for your face. I love those as well. So again, this is the Vanilla Matcha. So here's my mid-morning snack. Of course, I'm having a Built Bar per the usual. This is the Double Chocolate Mousse. I love this one. I'm gonna have this for three smart points. If you're interested in Built Bar, I do have a code that will save you 10% and free shipping, and they just came out with blueberry cheesecake. So definitely check out BuiltBar.com, and I'm going to enjoy my morning snack. So here's what I'm having for lunch today. This was from my meal prep. I will insert a picture here of the meal prep. It was the same one that I did the breakfast in. And this is the copycat Qdoba chicken burrito bowl. Look at yum. This is so good. I decided not to use the avocado, but I did use the fat-free sour cream. So this bowl is a total of only five smart points and that's using real rice at the bottom. So, so good. And then I've got my second fruit of the day, which is just a bag of red grapes. And then I'm going to have a sweet nothings for dessert I love these these are one smart point pieces of candy and they are so good you can buy these at proteinwise.com there is a link down in the description box if you click the link you will get ten dollars off your first order so this is only a six smart point lunch so here's what I'm having for my afternoon snack today. I'm gonna have one of these Vermont minis these are those cute little beef and pork pre-wrapped little pork sticks. These are really good. I actually got these at the airport when I was traveling. These are really good and they're only one smart point. I'm also going to have a pack of the WW Sweet Honey Roasted Chickpeas. I got this as a sample at my workshop and I've never had it. So I'm gonna have that, that's only two points. And then I've been bringing these cute little bags of petite carrots already pre-packaged, which I love for zero points. So this is going to be a three smart point snack. Hey guys, I'm at work. It is about one o'clock in the afternoon. Day one, so far, so good. It's been going really well. I had my breakfast, my morning snack, and my lunch. And then you saw what I was gonna have for afternoon snacks. So I'll be having that throughout the afternoon. And then we'll be going home and making dinner and having dessert. But so far, so good on day one. I think I still have a lot of points left. I wanna say maybe 15. 16, so that's going to be a lot for this evening. But if I get hungry again before dinner, I have the option to have myself another snack. But so far, day one on the Wendy plan has been going really, really well. I've been drinking a lot of water. I'm on my third 24 ounce cup of water, so. That's definitely a good thing. So day one of the Wendy plan dinner, I just made this lightened up beef stroganoff in my Instant Pot amazing you guys will be seeing this recipe in an upcoming five nights of dinner but look at that creamy delicious with real steak yum so this dinner is seven points for the stroganoff zero for the veggies so that is a seven point dinner i'll be back to show you my dessert and then i'll touch base with you guys and let you know how day one went 
So I'm about to put together my dessert for tonight. I have a lot of points left, you guys. I have eight. So I'm not going to probably eat them all, but let me show you kind of what I'm going to do for dessert for tonight. So I'm taking some of the Great Value Cherry Pie Filling. I did measure out five ounces here on my food scale. I'm going to top that with about six tablespoons of fat-free Ready Whip. So two tablespoons is five grams. So basically 15 grams of fat-free Ready Whip. So let's do that. There we have it. And then I decided to take a graham cracker here, just one sheet, so it's one point. And I'm just going to kind of crumble it on top of my fat-free Ready Whip. And then I'm really excited. I'm going to top it with one point, or I'm sorry, one serving, which is 30 of the Lily's Milk Chocolate Baking Chips. Yes, my friends, they have milk chocolate. How exciting is that? These came from ProteinWise.com. I do have a link down in the description box that will get you $10 off your first order. So free $10 worth of food and you can pick yourself up these milk chocolate baking chips. This is what they look like. So actually they are full size chocolate chips versus kind of the smaller ones of the dark chocolate chips. So I'm just going to plunk out 30, which is quite a lot that I measured out here onto my little dessert. So there we have it. We have five ounces of the sugar-free pie filling for three points. One graham cracker for one makes four and the chocolate chips make five. And then the whipped cream makes six. So this is a six smart point dessert. I'm not sure if I did that math completely correct, but I just know that the end product is six smart points. So there you have it. That is tonight's dessert. Hey guys, it is officially the end of day one on the Wendy plan, it's about 6.30 p.m. and you just saw my dessert, that was fantastic. Now, probably not a dessert that I would eat regularly only because it was six points and typically I don't have six points left at the end of the day for dessert, but I was just not very hungry today. In fact, I actually have two points left over and I'm stuffed. There is absolutely positively no way that I can eat two more points worth of food. So I'm gonna have two extra points, which means that I ate 32 out of 34 points today, which I'm totally okay with. I'm full and I'm not going to eat when I'm full. And that dinner was fantastic. Everything was absolutely delicious. So I feel that day one went really well. Again, I was not very hungry. Tomorrow is Saturday and tomorrow is June 15th, which is my high day. So that's the day that I basically use my weeklies. So I'm gonna be eating between 50 and 52 points tomorrow, which is great because then I can indulge in a nice dinner with my in-laws. So of course I'll take you along with me on all of the food for tomorrow. So day one was, in my opinion, an absolute success. Hey guys, happy Saturday, day two of the Wendy plan. Now today is my high point day where I eat between 50 and 53 points today. So I am at the grocery store, of course, because it's Saturday, gonna do my grocery shopping so far already gone but I've had my coffee so my coffee is one point what I put in my coffee this morning is three tablespoons of the sugar-free Italian cream Italian sweet cream creamer you know that I change up what I put in my coffee I have tons of options at home I like to have options so today I decided just to go with the traditional uh, coffee mate sugar-free creamer so that is one smart point I also brought one of my favorite built bars, the cinnamon chocolate cream. So I have this to snack on while I'm doing my shopping because I'm not only going to Fred Meyer, but I'm also going to be going to Trader Joe's. So I need to have something to eat prior to getting home. So that's going to be three points for that, one point for my coffee. So I'll be sitting at four points for today. So I'm going to keep it kind of light throughout the first part of today because we are having my in-laws over tonight for a barbecue and we're going to be doing actually pretty healthy. We're going to do kebabs, some watermelon, some baked beans. My in-laws are bringing a green salad, so I don't know what she's going to put in there, but they are like super healthy. I mean, they're in their 70s and they run. They, my, Terry, my um, step mother-in-law, uh, my mother-in-law walks a ton. They're very active golfers, so they 
eat on the healthy side anyway, so I imagine that it's not going to be too bad. And then I decided just to go with a simple angel food cake for dessert because angel food cake is one of the lower cakes and points and I can just really load up on the strawberries and the light whipped topping and kind of go lower on the cake itself. So I'm going to try to save at least 20 points, if not more probably more for dinner and I'd actually like to have a beer as well and my favorite beer is four points so I'm going to be eating pretty light throughout the day as you'll see and then I'm going to do my best to share with you guys what I have for dinner as well uh, so yeah that's the plan so let's get started on day two of the Wendy plan so this is what I'm going to be having for breakfast this morning it's about 10 a.m. just got back from the grocery store so I have two slices of the Sam's Choice turkey bacon one point a piece so that's two points I have two eggs for zero, and then under my eggs, I have one serving of the shredded hash browns for three. So this is a five smart point breakfast, and then I'm just having some water. So I'll be back to show you if I have a snack or my lunch. Hey guys, so we are out running errands. It's almost noon. So we are at McDonald's getting a Diet Coke and I uploaded my grocery haul. So it just got uploaded. We are running to Home Depot and then I can't remember one other place. I don't remember where that is. Then we're heading home and getting ready for our in-laws. So I brought with me the Quest birthday cake bar. I wanted to make sure that I had a snack with me just in case I got hungry on the road. Chances are I will eat this, so that will be an additional four smart points. Hey guys, I just realized that I didn't film what I had for lunch. So I am so sorry. I'm not used to filming what I eat every day. So what I ended up having, and I'll insert a picture right up here of the original dinner recipe, was I just had some leftovers from last night of that beef stroganoff that lightened up beef stroganoff for seven smart points. Now I pre-tracked my dinner and I'm only at 37 points and I have to eat a minimum of 50 to 53 and I'm full, like I, I don't know. I'm on the struggle bus trying to reach all those points unless I just eat crap, but I'm not hungry. So we'll see how dinner goes. I may have a glass of wine. Um, I may have a little bit more snacky type of stuff. Like I didn't count for any poppables and I may actually end up having poppables and I don't know what salad she's making. So I'm gonna have to count points for that. So I might get close to the 50, but we shall see. Sorry for not filming my lunch. So I wasn't able to film my dinner with my family here, but what we had, my mother-in-law made this salad. It was so good. Strawberries, blueberries, feta, cucumbers, uh, candied walnuts, and she made a homemade vinaigrette with strawberries and oil and lemon juice. It was delicious. So this was the salad that we had. And then you can see here that we barbecued up some kebabs. So I did chicken and beef with zucchini, peppers, and onions. So delicious. Oh, and mushrooms. These were really, really good. And the only thing you had to count points for was the meat and the marinade. So it wasn't bad at all. And salad, I also made some Bush's baked beans. And then for dessert, we had watermelon. And we also had angel food cake with strawberries and whipped cream. So I want to say that dinner, and I had a small glass of wine. So I'm going to say that I was probably pushing about 47 points today. So I got really close to the 50 points. So day two of the Wendy plan was a success. So day two of the Wendy plan is complete. I didn't quite hit my target. I'm really kind of watching the zero point foods and fruits, even though I am doing the Wendy plan because they aren't counted as points and the Wendy plan, you're supposed to be counting all of your points. So I think I ended up hitting pretty darn close to 50 today, 47, 48 points. So I'll take it. It was really close to what my goal was for today. So tomorrow, Day three of the Wendy plan. I drop all the way back down to 33 points tomorrow. So let's see how that goes after having two higher point days. So see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, happy Sunday. It is about 6.15 a.m. I'm up, I've been up since about five. I have not eaten anything, but I did go ahead and make my coffee. So, so far today I've had one smart point. This is day three of the Wendy plan. Today I'm back down to 33 points, which is my normal amount of smart points in a day. So I'm gonna take you with me on everything that I'm eating today to equal 33 smart points. So I'm gonna finish my coffee, watch a little bit of YouTube, and today's the day I meal prep. So I'm gonna get started on that as well. So I'll be back when I have some breakfast. So here's what I'm having for breakfast this morning. So I have two slices of the Sam's Choice 
spiced turkey bacon. So that is two points. I have one of my hash brown cups that I prepped in meal prep. You guys, these are so good. And that is also two smart points. And then I have one serving or half of a cup of cottage cheese, which is also two smart points. I'm going to have some black and red grapes. And what I have here is some of my copycat Starbucks passion tea lemonade for zero. So my entire breakfast is only six smart points. Hey guys, it's just about 10 a.m. I am meal prepping like crazy as I do every Sunday. So I'm gonna have a snack. I'm gonna do my cinnamon chocolate cream built bar. I love this one. Let me know in the comments below. Do you guys like the cinnamon? I love the cinnamon. So I'm gonna have this for three smart points. So it was one point for my coffee, four for my breakfast, or was it five? I don't know, I'll have to look back. But anyways, I'll have the points on the screen, but this is three. So don't forget right now, Bilt Bar has the promotion where if you buy two full boxes and you can do any flavor, a single, a mix box, or build your own, you're gonna get six free of the brand new Blueberry cheesecake, uh, yes please, Built Bars. So make sure you hop on builtbar.com, order two boxes, you'll get a six pack of the blueberry cheesecake. That's a $10 value for free. So definitely order yourself some Built Bars. My code is down in the description box below and I'll put it here on the screen as well. So bon appetit on my Built Bar. Here's what I'm gonna have for lunch today. You guys, I'm really excited about today's lunch. So what I have here is a piece of chicken with a little bit of the G Hughes teriyaki marinade. That is zero points. I have it here on a toasted multi-grain Western bagel for two points. You guys have to grab Western bagels. Only two points for a bagel. They have other ones that are three. There's one that's five points and there's smaller bagels that are one, but you can't beat a two point bagel. Make sure you grab the perfect 10 plus multi-grain and they're only two smart points. I topped my bagel with a tablespoon of the Kraft Light Mayo for one. So my sandwich is only three points. I'm having a bag of these Protes Spicy Chili Lime Chips. They are only two smart points. I purchased these off of proteinwise.com. There's a link down in the description box that'll save you $10. There's also a link that will save you 10% on Western Bagel. I'm gonna be having a Sweet Nothings for dessert. These also came off of the Protein Wise website one point for a piece of candy and this candy is so good so good so i'm gonna have a sweet nothings and then i'm having a two good two gram sugar vanilla yogurt with about a tablespoon of the julian bakery pro granola and espresso cluster i'm obsessed with this granola i do have a code for 10 percent off and free shipping on this as well this is a game changer you guys have to get this granola like if it's the only product besides Built Bars that you buy, I highly recommend the granola. So I'm having the Julian Bakery Espresso Cluster. It is zero points because it's two points for a half a cup, and I just threw on about a tablespoon for zero. So two for my yogurt, three for my sandwich makes five, two for my chips makes seven, and my kit chocolate is eight. So this is an eight smart point lunch. So here's what I'm having for afternoon snack. It's about 2.30. I just got done cleaning, I'm pooped. So I'm gonna do a little bit of work on my computer, hop in the shower, then make us some dinner. So what I have here is a protein shake. What I've put in here is a frozen banana, one cup of almond milk. I've put in two tablespoons of my PB2, and one scoop of the Devotion Brownie Batter Protein Powder. You guys, this is the best protein powder ever like literally ever use my link down in the description box to save 10 percent so two points for the devotion one point for the pb2 one point for the almond milk makes this a four smart point protein shake i do not count for the frozen banana because this is my second fruit of the day and the last fruit of the day so i do not count for blended fruit so this is my four smart point well, protein shake there is one serving of the felicia fitness health chicken stroganoff look at how amazing this looks you guys and my entire bowl is completely full and guess what with the fiber gourmet pasta this is a total of five smart points that's it for this entire dinner five smart points here's what i'm going to have for dessert tonight this will be the remainder of my points it's about seven points worth and these are so good i'm really wanting some chocolate i have quite a bit of points left so I think I'm gonna round out my day with these. So that will put me at 33 out of 33 smart points for day three of the Wendy plan. So I just made my coffee for this morning. Good morning, it is day four on the Wendy plan. It is Monday. 
I'm off today, so I'm going to take you along with me on a few fun things that I do today as well as my food. So because today I actually get 41 points, I decided to try this coffee creamer that I picked up in my grocery haul. This one is one smart point per tablespoon. So it's a lot higher than the coffee mate. The coffee mate, you can have three tablespoons for one point. So I thought since I had 41 points, let's give it a shot. So what I did is I ended up adding two tablespoons to my coffee and it's it's okay, I'd rather get three tablespoons of the Coffee Mate for one point. But I had it, it's a high point day, so I decided to go ahead and splurge on the creamer today. So this is the Sugar Free International Delight Caramel Macchiato. So I'm at two points out of 41, so that leaves me 39 points for the rest of the day. So here's what I'm gonna have for breakfast today. When I'm done here, I'm gonna show you that I'm gonna pack my food to take with me today as I run errands. So it's gonna be interesting, I'm gonna, but I'm gonna pack it all up. So for breakfast, I'm having one of my hash brown cups that I made a meal prep for two points, two slices of the Sam's Choice Turkey Bacon for two points, and then I'm going to have some grapes for zero. So my breakfast this morning is only going to be four points. So I'm about to head out for the entire day and I'm gonna stay on track. So I have my lunch bag here. I'm gonna throw an ice pack in it. So for lunch, I brought my meal prep. So I have my teriyaki chicken and my Asian slaw. So my meal prep is only five points. Of course, I'm gonna bring some watermelon, one of my little Sweet Nothings candies for lunch. So that'll be six points for my lunch. I'm gonna bring one of these fun beef sticks from Costco. These are only one smart point. Some double bites in honey mustard. These are three points. These came from proteinwise.com. These are really good. I'm also going to throw in a pack of almonds for three points. Don't know if I'll eat those. And then I'm headed to Starbucks to upload a video. So I'm going to bring a Premier Protein and I'm going to throw that in some coffee just to give myself another bout of coffee. So if I eat everything that I'm packing, it's 15 points. And right now I'm sitting at six points. So I have a lot left to eat for the day, but this is what I'm going to throw into my bag. Hey guys, I just got to Starbucks, so I'm going to head in. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to order either three or four shots over ice and add my Premier Protein for two points, and that should tide me over until lunch. So I'm going to do that instead of a Built Bar this morning. I didn't bring a Built Bar because I think I'm going to have that later when I get home. So I'm just trying to make sure I'm eating all my points today. So I'm excited about the extra points, but also hoping that I can eat them all. So I may eat some higher point things. We'll just see how the day plays out, but I'm going to go into Starbucks and upload meal prep uh, that was ne needs to get uploaded today and then spend a little time at Starbucks. And then I'm heading to pick up my mom and we are going to go to Costco. And then I've got a few meetings for some opportunities that I'll be sharing later with you guys that I have going on. I need to go to the post office and then need to run to the jewelry store and get my ring check so it's going to be a busy day so there's my three shots with a premier protein vanilla so i'm gonna have that and get my meal prep uploaded super excited hey guys i just left costco with my mom actually i just dropped my mom off i'm currently sitting outside of the post office after running and mail something then i'm on my way to the jewelry store to get my ring checked i did have a snack i wanted to show you guys so i had these double bites in honey mustard they're three points i bought these off of protein wise it's website it is linked down in the description box below and you can get ten dollars off of your first order these were pretty good super crunchy not as honey mustardy as i wanted but there was a lot of them in this package and they do have 10 grams of protein so if you're looking for a good easy take along snack those are awesome but again you get ten dollars off you can't go wrong so i'm gonna head in mail this i'm actually mailing some um spices off to one of my subscribers who doesn't have a trader joe's near her so i'm sending that off to her and then i'm heading down to the sto jewelry store i've been drinking water i've got my lunch pack so i'll let you guys know when i eat some lunch it's 1207 i still have about an hour before my first appointment at one so i'm gonna have some lunch you can see here that i'm at a wendy's i think i'm just gonna go in and work on editing videos and just sit and relax and eat my lunch I may have to buy a drink or something so it's not weird that I'm in Wendy's but I'm gonna have my uh, Asian ramen noodle salad my chicken my sweet nothings and then I'm working on some water but yeah I may go ahead and head in and buy a drink I'm gonna bring in my watermelon as well 
So I just walked in the door. I'm heading back out here shortly, but I wanted to show you what I grabbed at Costco. So this is my little small Costco haul. So my husband loves the Dove soap. This was a steal, $12 for 16 bars. I paid $9 for eight, so that was a great deal. Doesn't hurt to have so much soap. They're individually boxed too, which makes it really nice for storage. Bananas. I decided to get some more so I could freeze them for my protein shake that I make with the Devotion because I'm obsessed. I got these cute, really thin, I mean really thin socks. I'm always looking for a good pair of thin socks to wear in my tennis shoes for my walks in the morning. So I'm really excited to have these. I think that they're going to be the perfect thickness for that. A huge ginormous thing of garlic because I love garlic and we go through a ton. This was a lot cheaper than the freeze dried so I just grabbed it. Tuna fish, I've been thinking about tuna and best price ever is at Costco for tuna fish. $13.99 I think for eight cans which is a great deal of the solid white. I don't like the pink with the weird stuff. So love this tuna. Of course a huge thing of paper towels. Who doesn't go to Costco and not get paper towels or toilet paper? I mainly went for their chicken because this was a steal. Look at this. This is $26.70 for nine pounds of chicken. And this is fresh and natural. It doesn't have any added anything. There's no rib meat. So this is a true 0% chicken. This is a great deal. The packs are perforated so you can separate them for easy use and storage. So that's what I went there mainly for. I grabbed some Irish Death. This is one of my husband's favorite beers. So I thought that I would be sweet and get him a bottle of that. This is a local brewery and this beer is really dark. It's pretty good. And then lastly, because it was such a great deal, I bought this avocado oil, nine bucks or $10 for 33 ounces. And this avocado oil is so good. Oh, and I got a case of water as well. So that's my little mini Costco haul. So I'm having a built bar. I'm sorry, it's in my mouth. Before I head out to my next appointment for three smart points, I'm really under points, you guys. We'll talk about it when I hit the road. Look at my little sunbathers. One's rolling in the grass and the other one is on her bed. Oh my goodness. I sure love these two little turds. So I'm going to bring this bar with me as well, only because... I have a feeling I'm going to be really hungry before I get back home and make dinner. This is from ProteinWise.com. This is the Divine Caramel Sea Salt. These are really good. It's a big bar and it's only four smart points. Look at that. And it's nice and thick. They're high fiber, 15 grams of protein. So I'm going to take this too just in case. So here's what I'm having for dinner tonight. This is ground beef lo mein. You will be seeing this in an upcoming five nights of dinner. This entire portion is only six smart points. So that means I have a lot of points left. So I'm gonna have this and then I'll show you what I'm having for dessert and we'll do a little recap of where I ended up point wise. So this is gonna be my dessert tonight. So what I have is a little over three servings, the rest of the can here of the sugar-free cherry pie filling that is a total of five smart points and this pie filling is really good it's a perfect dessert to that i went ahead and added one serving of the lily's milk chocolate baking chips these are new these are delicious i really 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 like these so i went ahead and added one serving of that so that is two points so my dessert here is a total of seven points hi guys it's the end of day four on the wendy plan and I ended today at 37 out of 41 points. I cannot eat anymore, so I'm not going to just eat to eat. So I was actually four points shy of what my allotted points were for today, but I feel great. I feel satisfied. My dinner was delicious. I had a huge dessert. I am good. So 37 out of 41. I know you're supposed to eat all your points every day. I just, I can't do it. So hopefully, Friday's good on the scale. It's Tuesday, day five tomorrow. So I'll be back in the morning to check in with you as we start day number five. Hey guys, I just got to work, have my coffee. So today is day five on the Wendy plan. Today I actually have 39 points. I think it's 39 points. Pretty sure it's 39 points. I'll put it here on the screen though if it's not. Uh, so anyways, I have all those points. So I decided to go ahead and go with that sugar-free international delight two tablespoons, two points. I'm going to go into work. Of course, this week I'm going to be eating my meal prep. So you're going to see a lot of duplicate uh, breakfast and lunches just because that is what I'm planning for meal prep. I brought my snacks. So let's see how day five goes. I did walk this morning for about 40 minutes. So that's awesome. So I'll be back.
to show you what I'm having this morning for breakfast. So here's what I'm gonna be having for breakfast today. Yes, it is 39 points today. So I just double checked that. So this is my meal prep, one of my hash brown broccoli cheese cups for two points, two slices of my Sam's Choice turkey bacon for two points. And then I just have some red and black grapes here. So my breakfast is four points and then my coffee was two. So right now I am six points out of 39. Hey guys, it is day five of the Wendy plan. I wasn't able to film any of my food today. It was a crazy day at work, but I wanted to let you guys know what I ate. So I had my meal prep breakfast that I did get to show you guys. For my morning snack, I had a Bilt Bar, I had my meal prepped lunch, and then for an afternoon snack, I had some of the Crunch Master brownie salted caramel protein thins and a meat stick from Costco and then when I came home I had my leftover ground beef lo mein that you saw in yesterday's video and then I had the leftover cherry pie filling and chocolate chip dessert so I ended up at 37 out of 39 points and that was the majority of dinner and dessert so I'm still two points shy of what I should have been but I'm full it's 6 30 I'm not going to eat anymore but overall the day went really well I'm finding that I'm not as hungry or maybe I, it's just a time that I'm not as hungry and I've been really stressed out at work so I'm sure that's partially why I'm not hungry but so far the Wendy plan's been great tomorrow is day six and I am back down to 33 points for tomorrow so I'll try to be a little bit better about filming my actual food and checking in with you guys throughout the day tomorrow so moving on to day six hey friends happy happy Thursday Wednesday Oh my gosh, it's only Wednesday. Apparently I really want it to be Thursday, but it is day six on the Wendy plan. Today I'm back down to the 33 points like I mentioned yesterday, which is fine. I'm on the struggle bus eating all my points, you guys. I think it's because this week has been extremely stressful. There's a lot of upcoming changes in my life and this week they've all just kind of come to a head. So I think that I just have been stressed out. So food has not been my top priority. I'm a little different where I'm stressed out. I don't want to eat. I'm not hungry. Nothing sounds good. So that's probably what's happened this week. But today I'm at 33. Tomorrow is another high point day, which I find kind of interesting because I'm weighing in on Friday. So I don't know how excited I am to eat a high point day the day before weigh in, but I'm going to follow the Wendy plan exactly because I want true results when I weigh in on Friday. So I'm starting my day off today with my typical coffee. I have some of the sugar-free gosh that's good chocolate powder i'll put a picture of that right here for you guys it's linked in my amazon store i added just a little bit of orange extract just what you would use in baking to make an orange mocha and then a little bit of almond milk so this coffee is one smart point i'm gonna head into work and i'll show you my breakfast same as i had yesterday but i'm going to be better today about filming my snacks and my lunches because i did not do well with that at all yesterday so i'll see you guys at breakfast so here's my breakfast a repeat from yesterday my meal prep of my hash brown broccoli cheddar cups, which are so good, you guys. Definitely try this recipe out. It is in my meal prep video. I will link a picture of it here so you can see what meal prep I'm referring to, make it easy to find. I have two slices of the Sam's Choice turkey bacon and then my typical grapes. And of course, I'm still kind of working on my coffee. So my breakfast is only four smart points. Not bad for all of this deliciousness. This is what I'm having this morning for a morning snack. This is the Coconut Chocolate Cream Built Bar. I really like this one. I just throw these in the fridge at work and they're the perfect texture and consistency for a quick morning snack. Three smart points, so not bad at all. So that's gonna put me at a total of eight smart points out of 33. So I'm doing really well today. The coconut is really good. It reminds me of a mound. So good. So again, my link for Built Bar is down in the description box where you will save 10% and get free shipping. So coconut chocolate cream it is for this morning's breakfast. Or snack. Not breakfast. My breakfast AM snack. How's that? So here's my lunch for today. Again, this is my meal prep that I prepped in that same video. So I have one breast of chicken here with some of the G. Hughes teriyaki marinade for zero points. 
Here is my delicious ramen salad. So I've got some coleslaw. This dressing is so good. And then it's just some ramen noodles, some pepitas, and some almonds. So this portion of my lunch is only five smart points, and that is for the salad. I'm going to have my second fruit for the day, which is some cut up watermelon. And then I'm gonna round out my lunch with some dessert. And this is the caramel pecan cluster sweet nothings. This is my favorite flavor. It literally tastes like a Snickers. So good. So this is going to be my dessert for one smart point. You can buy these on protein wise.com down in the description box is a link directly to their website and it will give you ten dollars off your first order so you can go on there and shop 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 and get ten dollars worth of free product so definitely order these caramel pecan clusters it's a chocolate for one point and it is delicious so my lunch is a total of six smart points so this is what i'm going to be having for an afternoon snack so i have a little bag of my petite carrots for zero and then i have one of these protein wise divine caramel sea salt high fiber bars you guys these are phenomenal they taste like a granola bar but the caramel salted oh it's so good the flavor is on point and this entire bar this is a large bar look at that is only four smart points so it's got some fiber it's got some protein and it literally tastes delicious again this came from proteinwise.com link down in the description and then i decided to bring with me today one of my diet snapple half and half so i'm just gonna sip on this this is the half tea half lemonade for zero so zero zero and four so this is a four four smart point afternoon snack so it is the end of day five on the wendy plan or day six i can't remember now but it is almost the end tomorrow is the last day tomorrow is a high point day for me i think it's 40 but i do weigh in on friday so i am a little concerned about that like i mentioned but i'm going to follow the plan exactly so today was a normal 33 point day i actually ended the day at 31 points i wasn't i didn't eat all the 33 but it was really really close i'm stuffed i'm not going to eat if i'm not hungry so i feel like 31 out of 33 is pretty darn good so today went really well again it's been a pretty stressful week, so I haven't really been very hungry. But for dinner tonight, I'll put a picture of it right here for you. I had a really good pizza casserole. It's coming out in my next five nights of dinners. And then I had my same cherry pie filling chocolate chip dessert that I had last night. So that put me at the 31 point. So tomorrow's the final day. I'm debating if I wanna do it another week. I'm actually considering it. So I can't wait to weigh in give you guys the results, let you know my final thoughts on the Wendy plan, good, bad. I'll be completely honest with you as always and let you know exactly what my thoughts are. So have a good night and I'll see you guys in the morning for the final day of the Wendy plan. Hey guys, happy Thursday, last day on the Wendy plan, day six. So today I have 40 smart points. As I mentioned, I'm a little nervous about that just because I weigh in tomorrow, but that's okay. I'm going to do my best to stay exactly with the Wendy plan. I want to show you guys coffee. So what I did today is I used, again, the gosh, that's good, sugar-free chocolate and some orange extract and a splash of almond milk. So it's one point. So I'm one out of 30 or one out of 40 points so far today. So I'm on my way to work and I'll try to film my food. I'm literally eating the same thing as yesterday. The only thing that may be a little bit different is there may be some added snacks today because I do have those extra points. So last day on the Wendy plan. I can't wait to give you guys a full recap. Excited to weigh in tomorrow, see how it all worked out for me. So I'll see you guys at breakfast. Here's my breakfast today. Same as yesterday. My meal prep. So my hash brown cup for two points, my two slices of turkey bacon for two, and then some grapes, and of course I'm still working on my coffee. So my breakfast this morning, again, is a total of four smart points, so I am at five out of 40 points thus far. For morning snack, I'm having a Bilt Bar. Today I decided to have the cinnamon chocolate cream. I love this Bilt Bar. This one I really, really like. Um, some do, some don't. I think it's delicious. Tastes like a chocolate covered cinnamon bear. So this is my three point morning snack and that's going to put me at eight out of 40 points so far for the day. My lunch for today is my meal prep, my Asian salad. You guys, this is so incredibly good. If you have not made this recipe, I highly encourage you to do it. It is delicious, so good, and it's five smart points. That's it, and that's ramen noodles, nuts, 
uh, dressing and everything for five points, a little bit of teriyaki chicken for zero, some more watermelon, kind of my jam during the summer, love it. And then of course for dessert, my little sweet nothings, proteinwise.com. Don't forget to check out the description box for $10 off. They have a fantastic website, fantastic. So my break, or my breakfast, Wow, my lunch is a total of six points. Five for the Asian slaw, one for the sweet nothings. So that's going to put me at 14, I believe, out of 40 smart points for the day. So for some snacks today, I'm going to be having one of my Divine Caramel Sea Salt Bars. You guys, these are from Protein Wise as well. So you can hop on there and order the Sweet Nothings and these. These are only four points, and this is a huge granola type of bar, and it is delicious, reasonable price. I mean, absolutely delicious. It has 15 grams of protein. It's gluten-free, yum. So this is four smart points. And then I've got some baby carrots, another bottle of my diet Snapple half and half, and I have an errand to run after work. So I'm gonna be having some of my Crunchmaster protein brownie thins. These are in salted caramel. I love these. These are gluten-free. They literally taste like corner, crispy corners of a brownie, and they are so good. I have 24 of these for two smart points, or you can do the 32 thins for three smart points, but I just usually narrow it down so that I can just have it for two points. So I'm gonna do this for two points, this for four points, zero and zero, so that's six additional points. I don't know where that puts me. I'm gonna go ahead and put it here on the screen for you guys. So this is what I'm planning on having for some snacks today. This is what I'm having for dinner tonight. This is the leftover pepperoni pizza casserole. This is eight smart points, and then I'll show you what I'm having for dessert, and that will finalize the last day of the Wendy plan. Look what came today, my blueberry cheesecake built bars. I'm so excited. So this is actually gonna be my dessert. So you will get a taste, first impression of the new flavor. So excited to try these. This is so incredibly good. This is literally one of my favorite flavors. It is so blueberry. It tastes like fresh picked blueberries, you guys. You have to try this. And for three smart points, oh my gosh, I'm seriously in love. So I'm gonna round out my day with some smart sweets, only because this sounds really good and I have so many points. You guys, I'm not hitting the 40 points. Today, I'm actually at 33 points, I believe. So, didn't quite make it to 40 and it's almost 6 p.m. I weigh in tomorrow, I don't eat past six. So this is gonna round out my day. I'm in love with these peach rings. They are so freaking delicious. I crave them, they're that good. So make sure you go to smartsweets.com, use the code Jen Clayton for free shipping and order these, these are delish. So that's going to round out my day and that is going to round out this week on the Wendy Plan. All right guys, it is the end of the Wendy Plan. It is day six, I just ate my Smart Sweets. I'm stuffed and I'm going to take a shower, relax. I'm excited to weigh in tomorrow. I'm really curious as to what's gonna happen on the scale. I'm feeling really good. I walked this morning. I walked three days this week on top of doing the Wendy plan. My only concern is I did not hit my points every day on the Wendy plan. I just couldn't eat all of that sometimes, which is interesting because on my splurge day on Saturday, I eat a lot, but that's one day. It's not drawn out over the week. And some days, excuse me, I just drank uh, some Coke Vanilla Zero. Uh, some days are just harder than others. I'm busy, I'm not as hungry. So I'm really anxious to see what happens on the scale tomorrow. So I'll be doing a little recap of the Wendy plan in my weigh-in video that you guys will actually see before this one. But overall, the Wendy plan, I feel like it went really, really well. I actually would be interested in continuing on maybe another week just to see, I'm, I wanna see my results. And if I lose, I may continue it into next week as well. We'll just kind of have to see. Uh, but if you haven't tried the Wendy plan, I recommend that you do it. It's kind of nice to change up the pace. I feel like it definitely shakes your body up, shakes your metabolism up, really shakes up your points. So it kind of keeps your body guessing, which is always a good thing in weight loss. So thank you for joining me on my Wendy vlog and you'll see my update in my weigh-in video of how it went. So thank you again for watching. If you're new, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell so you're notified when I upload a new video. Give this one a thumbs up. Comment down below, let me know, did you try the Wendy plan? How did it work for you? And what do you think of these vlogs when we test out these different programs? And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys.